Hello everyone. I'm Samudrika and I'm the client partner at Global Market Estimates. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. I hope and believe that each one of you will benefit from today's session. We will be discussing about the global smart pharmaceutical factory technologies market in a few moments. But before that, let me inform you all that a recorded version of this webinar will be shared via email. So you can refer to our key speakers actionable insights whenever you want. Your suggestions and inputs are much welcome and appreciated. Now let me brief you all about global market estimates a bit. So we are a market research and a business consulting company having a proven track record of helping 80% of Fortune 2000 companies since years now. So Global Market Estimates has always believed in providing our clients with high quality and premium advisory services. With a vision to transform the market research industry, we are driving Global Market Estimates towards a perfect integration of technology, innovation, and excellence. Moreover, we are on the verge of introducing disruptive technology platforms in the market research space. Now let's move ahead and I'll take a couple of minutes to discuss the flow of the webinar. Meanwhile, please check your chat box as I've just added the report link there. You can go ahead and request for a sample copy of the report and post the seminar. Uh, if you're interested, you can place an order to purchase the reports as well. Right. So, yeah. So here you can see that, uh, you know, in this webinar, we'll be talking about the benefits and bonuses of attending today's webinar. Uh, there will be a brief about global market estimates, who we are, what do we do, etc. What makes us unique, followed by GME's capability in the smart pharmaceutical factory technologies and uh, insights by our key speaker, Ms. Harita Matashya, followed by the Q&A session and also we'll be announcing some complimentary reports and additional bonus worth 1500 US dollar for all the participants who choose to stay connected till the end of the webinar. And further, we'll end the webinar. First and foremost, thank you for devoting your valuable time to this webinar. Since you have expressed your interest in this webinar, I believe you would like to learn more about the subject and hence, each and every attendee will receive a complimentary executive summary of our Global Smart Pharmaceutical Factory Technologies report. This summary will provide a short overview of the important insights, trends, and forecasts about smart pharmaceutical factory technologies market. And all the interested attendees may please look for the report link in the chat box. You all can also go to the website and request a sample, and we'll be sharing the executive summary of the report with you. As part of our commitment to facilitate knowledge sharing, we also offer live Q&A sessions with our key speaker. This interactive session allows you to engage directly uh, with our key speaker. Also, uh, the summary will provide a short overview of the important you know, insights, along with the attendees will also you know, understand how the market is growing. Uh, they will also have the opportunity to determine tomorrow's high growth markets today, this implies that the webinar will cover emerging niche markets within the smarter future for pharma that have significant growth potential. By identifying these markets in advance, the attendees can also position themselves strategically to capitalize on future opportunities. And additionally, this webinar will provide insights into the tech opportunities in pharma sector. Our spe uh, speaker, the key speaker, Ms. Haritama Kashya, she will share her expertise and knowledge about emerging technologies within the smart pharmaceutical factory technologies and also the information that she will share. Uh, it will you know, really help our attendees to stay ahead of the curve and make informed decisions regarding the adoption of future technologies. So are you all excited to learn from our today's session? Because I'm for sure. And if you are too, then please drop in a big yes in the chat box so that we can proceed further.
Uh, sorry to interrupt, Samatrika. I guess you are uh, need to unmute your mic. I guess there is some technical glitch. I'm really sorry for the technical glitch. I, I, I guess the mic was not working in from my end. I believe uh, whatever we ha I have just you know mentioned none of the things have been you know uh, come to your end so let me start from the very beginning i really apologize for the technical glitch from my end but let me start from the very beginning so once again hello everyone i'm samudrika and i'm the client partner at global market estimates and i would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you i hope and believe that each one of you will benefit from our today's session we will be discussing about the global smart pharmaceutical factory technologies market in a moment. But before that, let me inform you all that a recorded version of this webinar will be shared via email. So you all can refer to our key speakers actionable insights whenever you want. And your suggestion and inputs are much welcome and appreciated. So now let me brief you all about global market estimates a bit. So we are a market research and a business consulting company having a proven track record of helping 80% of Fortune 2000 companies since years now. Now, Global Market Estimates has always believed in providing our clients with high quality and premium advisory services. With a vision to transform the market research industry, we are driving Global Market Estimates towards a perfect integration of technology, innovation, and excellence. Moreover, we are on the verge of introducing disruptive technology platforms in the market research space. Now let's move ahead and I'll take a couple of minutes to discuss the flow of the webinar. Meanwhile, you all can, you know, please check your chat box as I've just added the report link there. You can go ahead and request for a sample copy of the report and post the seminar. If you are interested, you can also place an order to purchase the report as well. I'll just quickly take you to the webinar flow page. And uh, as you can see here, we'll be discussing about the benefits and bonuses of attending today's webinar, a brief about global market estimates, what we do, who we are, et cetera. Uh, we'll be talking about what makes us unique, the GME's capability in the smart pharmaceutical factory technologies and insights by our key speaker, Ms. Haritama Kashyap, followed by a QA and a session and there will be also an announcement of some complimentary reports and additional bonus worth 1500 US dollar for all the participants who choose to stay connected till the end of the webinar. And then further, we'll conclude the webinar. Now, first and foremost, thank you all for devoting your valuable time to this webinar. Since you all have expressed your interest in this webinar, I believe you would like to learn more about this subject and hence each and every attendee will receive a complimentary executive summary of our global smart pharmaceutical factory technologies report. The summary will definitely help you and will provide a short overview of the important insights, trends and forecasts about smart pharmaceutical factory technologies market. All the interested attendees may please have a look at the report link in the chat box. You can also go to the website and request for the sample and we'll be sharing the executive summary with you. As part of our commitment to facilitate knowledge sharing, we also offer live Q&A sessions with our key speaker. This interactive session will allow you to engage directly with our industry expert, gain valuable insights and clarify any doubts you may have regarding the smarter future for pharma topic. Also, the attendees will have the opportunity to determine high growth markets today. This implies that the webinar will cover emerging niche markets within the smarter future of pharma that have significant growth potential. Additionally, by identifying these markets in advance, attendees can also position themselves strategically to capitalize on future opportunities. The webinar will provide insights into the tech opportunities in pharma sector. A key speaker will share her expertise and knowledge about emerging technologies within the smart pharmaceutical factory technology and the information that you know she will be sharing definitely will help all the attendees to stay ahead of the curve 
and make informed decisions regarding the adoption of the future technologies. So are you all excited to learn from today's session? Because I'm for sure. So in case you are interested, please drop in a big yes on the chat box so that we can proceed further. All right, so let's move ahead now. Thank you so much for your responses. So here in this slide, we'll be talking more about global market estimates. So our introduction and impact can be understood in four phases. Who we are, what do we do, how do we do, and whom do we serve? So we are a revenue impact company, and we demonstrate the latent demand for you and for your clients that can lead to better planning of to-go market and can justify ROI with target clients. We tell clients what their current revenue mix should be, what their future revenue mix should be in the coming three to five years. We also help accelerate focus and decisions by six to 12 months. And the impact of what we do is a minimum of $100 million for every $1 billion of current revenues. Now, what do we do? So we solve connected problems. We use a decision-making platform and a pool of 100 plus researchers and analysts to connect some very complex dots. We have researched 25,000 high growth niche markets in the last six years and have the world's most detailed view of connected and converged ecosystem. We use this to study the impact of disruptions and technology mega trends on industry business models, our clients' business, their clients' business, and their clients' clients' business. Now, how do we do? So enterprises more often than not work in silos. We implement our advice by working uh, with several departments on how revenue impact and future revenue mix should be managed. This could also be help in marketing team segment, target and position, could be helping sales team with the accounting planning and messaging. Also, it could help product management understand future focus areas and could be supporting CMI and m &A teams, identify partners and m &A targets. Our annuity model is a powerful way to engage with us. Now, whom do we serve? So I feel so proud to say this, that with every quarter, we are becoming more widely used by our clients. Over 30,000 company officers approach us annually to solve simple and complex problems. We believe every single company in the world should work with us, and our target is to be a billion dollar company in the next three years. That is the reason why we have been lately approached by various venture capitals firms across the globe. In this slide, we'll be talking about what really makes us unique. So we have been in the consulting business for more than six years now, and we are becoming more and more confident as CXOs of top Fortune 2000 companies are using our reports to upscale their business to understand the growth strategy of the industry. Our robust research methodology is something we and our clients can vouch for. Not only that, we also provide our clients with strategic opportunity and attractiveness analysis, which includes hot revenue pockets, market attractiveness core, business strategic priority, high growth states, which would also help you to focus on the specific states or areas. Our report will also cover the four quadrant competitive positioning matrix, which is a very important benchmark to understand your company's position in the market. A very detailed competitive analysis as well as consumer analysis will be covered in the report. Strategic insights across business functions for CEOs, CMOs, and CSOs. Last but not the least, with the help of our actionable insights, you all can also evaluate the potential of your existing business lines versus new lines to enter into. Also, you can see in the slide, we are faster than our competitors because when we comes to the you know, niche high growth market, we also provide greater granularity in market segmentation for each of our reports. In areas where other research firms are catching up, we are far ahead in the learning curve and providing more granular data. Also, the quick turnaround time with efficient results is our topmost priority. Lastly, our research is done with a single objective to help organizations grow their revenue through effective decision making. We'll be definitely happy to share our company profile on Chatbot for you to better understand our growth. Now, I would request Ms. Haritama Kashyap, who is a senior research analyst in our firm, to share some actionable insights covered in our report on the smart pharmaceutical factory technologies. 
Over to you, Haritama. Thanks, Samadhika. Hello, everyone. I'm Haritama Kashyap, a lead analyst for this report. I've always been fascinated about medicines and pharma industry, and every time any new development or technology comes in the market, that holds great potential to revolutionize the overall pharmaceutical industry. I make sure to deep dive into it, and that's how we came up to this study, this market. So before sharing the key insights into the market, I would like to brief you about the key strategic insights that are covered in our report. Starting with the market, uh, market size analysis, the report provides an in-depth analysis of the current as well as the projected growth trajectory for the market for 2023 to 2028 uh, as a forecast period, along with compounded annual growth rate for the market for the specified forecast period. Our report also provides a comprehensive analysis of various segments and sub-segments of the market at global, regional, and country-level markets. This information will help assess the market attractiveness analysis and potential for investment or expansion plans. The report also helps identify the key competitors and understand their position in the market. Furthermore, the report highlights the latest trends and uh, challenges that are faced by the operating players in the market. The report also provides insights into the market drivers and key opportunities that are expected to serve as a potential uh, like creative source of revenue growth during the forecast period. N uh, in a nutshell, the report helps our clients to formulate their long-term growth strategy and plans for sustainable growth. Uh, thank you. So as we all are, uh, yeah, sorry. As we all very well aware about the internet, how in how Internet of Things and artificial intelligence and other cutting edge technologies have impacted the growth of various industries, be it manufacturing, automotive, and any other. Similarly, the impact of these technologies on the pharmaceutical sector has been transformative, owing to their several advantages offered by these technologies to the drug developers such as improved production efficiency, cost reduction, enhanced safety, and many others. Here we have focused on the integration of these technologies in the pharmaceutical sector to optimize and streamline the entire pharmaceutical production development process. Where the integration of IoT, that is Internet of Things devices and sensors have enabled real-time monitoring of critical parameters AI has revolutionized other aspects of the drug development. It primarily plays a crucial role in enabling the analysis of vast amount of biological and chemical data to identify potential drug candidates and predict the efficacy of the candidate drug. Now, so basically the report uh, focuses uh, on the revenue generated through implementation as well as integration of these technologies within the pharmaceutical sector. Now talking about the market size. So as per our analysis, the market was valued at uh, 25 billion US dollar in 2022 and is expected to reach 72.7 billion US dollar by 2028, growing at a compounded annual growth rate of 19.5%. The market growth is supported by various factors, including advancing, advancements in digital technologies, then growing complexities of manufacturing process, especially when it comes to advanced therapies such as cell therapies, uh, uh, sorry, gene therapies, and many others. Furthermore, increasing regulatory demands, but most importantly, the rising pressure on the drug developers to keep pace with the changing market needs is supporting the market growth the most. Also, despite these various ben benefits of these technologies, just like any other industry, this market is also surrounded with several other key challenges, such as data and privacy concerns, then cost of implementation and others. However, the operating key stakeholders are actively engaged in addressing these concerns to maximize the adoption of advanced technologies within the pharma sector. Samadhiya, can you? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier that we provide analysis at segment and sub-segment level. Here you can see that we have segmented the market on the basis of technology, product, application, and end to the scope. Talking about the product scope, we have segmented the market into manufacturing execution system, automation system, analytical and monitoring system, and others. 
among these manufacturing executing, uh, execution system is leading the market as shown in the first chart this is mainly because of its ability to ensure compliance with the regulatory standard and improve operational efficiency at product quality and traceability. Now moving ahead with the second chart, which demonstrates the technology penetration, uh, sorry, penetration of various technologies in the market. As shown, uh, Internet of Things is currently leading the market with highest revenue share owing to its ability of real-time monitoring of the critical uh, parameters in, uh, across the entire drug development process. However, artificial intelligence is expected to grow at the fast uh, to grow fastest with a compounded annual growth rate of 19.9%, owing to its capability of data analysis and pattern recognition. Furthermore, talking about the application. Currently, smart technologies are most widely adopted in the manufacturing and production step. Thus, this has contributed the uh, dominance of this segment as an application. Now, talking about the end users, uh, as we analyze that biotech and pharma companies are recognized as the biggest end users of the market. Thus, this has resulted in, uh, resulted in their dominance in the market in the 2022 market. However, CMOs, which are contract manufacturing organizations, are expected to grow at the fastest rate, mainly because of the drive, uh, drive, increasing demand for outsourced services within the pharmaceutical sector. Now moving ahead with the key stakeholders in the market. So this market involves various key, uh, key stakeholders, including pharma companies, biotech companies, automation companies, software providers, and many others. These entities are actively collaborating with each other to drive the market growth, considering their unique role, uh, each stakeholders, uh, considering the unique role of each stakeholders in driving innovations and competitiveness in the market, we have studied each market player as a part of our research methodologies and to better understand the market growth in the coming years. As you can see on the right side, we have listed down some of the key stakeholders by type that are studied in terms of their role to better assist the market. This includes the evaluation of their offerings and various growth in organic and inorganic growth strategies undertaken by them to advance the market growth. Now, talking about the growth strategies, uh, Samudrika, can you please move ahead? Yeah. Now, talking about the growth strategies, investment in RD, product development, operational efficiency, and operational efficiency improvements are some of the organic growth strategies that are undertaken by the companies whereas inorganic growth strategies include merger and acquisition strategic partnership and alliances outsourcing uh, and contract manufacturing and many others as you can see here technology innovation is uh, in one of the most widely adopted growth strategies by the market players in the market as most of the companies are focusing on building their portfolio and gain competitive advantage in the market for example, in December 2021, Amazon Web Services announced that it is working with Pfizer to create an innovative cloud-based solution to improve the development as well as distributions of new medicine. Such developments are, are anticipated to drive the growth not only of market player as well as the overall market revenue. Furthermore, these growth strategies are not mutually exclusive companies often employ a combination of these organic as well as inorganic approaches to achieve their growth objectives based on complex market dynamics available resources and strategic priorities uh, samudrika can you please yeah now as i mentioned earlier that our report does include a detailed analysis into the regional as well as country country level market our reports provide a thorough analysis, thorough market analysis that covers market trend analysis as well as size analysis for North America, Europe, Asia, Pacific, Latin America, and MEA region along with their spearhead countries in these regions. For instance, here you can see that the North America market is currently dominating the market with highest revenue share of 39.1% in 2022 market. The, this regional growth is primarily driven by the US market, which accounted for around 
66 percent revenue share in the overall north america market and the growth of u.s market is uh, primarily contributed by the increasing number of substantial players as well as the end users in this space furthermore well-established healthcare sector regulatory framework have also supported the growth in this region now moving ahead on the other hand asia pacific market is expected to grow at the fastest compounded annual growth rate of 20.3 percent during the forecast period with china japan and india at the forefront forefront as you can see in the chart china is, has generated a revenue of 1.4 billion us dollar and is expected to reach 4.2 us billion dollar in 2028 market however india market is expected to grow the fast grow the fastest in terms of compounded annual growth rate of 21.8 percent the key factors that are contributing to to the growth of this market is expanding pharmaceutical industries in the region as well as growing popularity of asian countries as pmo hub that is contract manufacturing organization hub in the global pharmaceutical industry so overall the market is expected to grow exponentially in the foreseeable future with increasing numbers of uh, key players entering the market at two fold therefore thereby intensifying the overall market competition that's all over to you samjika thank you so much for your valuable uh, you know insights uh, haritama so let's move ahead for the q and a uh, session uh, as i mentioned at the very beginning of the webinar post the q and a round i will be happy to disclose the additional discounts worth 1500 us dollar for all the participants uh, who choose to stay connected till the end of the webinar so now the floor is open for questions we are ready to provide you with the insightful answers if you have any questions about your current projects industry trends professional development or anything else now is the perfect time to ask so let's start I think Haritama, we can start with the first question here. Haritama, you are on the mute, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, we have a first query from Nitu that what are the key challenges faced by pharmaceutical companies in adopting smart factory technologies so as i mentioned during my seminar also that the there are various challenges that are surrounding the market such as data and privacy concerns then cost of implementation one of the key uh, challenge which i would uh, i understand from this market is the uh, data and privacy concerns the integration of smart technologies required handling uh, and transmitting sensitive data pharmaceutical companies must address must must address these concerns related to data security privacy and compliance with regulations such as hipaa and gdpr and gdpr yes and implementing smart factory technology also requires skilled workforce capable of operating and maintaining maintaining the systems so companies may face challenges in upskilling their workforce and uh, ensuring that they have a necessary necessary expertise to leverage the technology effectively however uh, as i mentioned earlier that the uh, operating key stakeholders are undertaking various various strategies to address these challenges so in the coming future the impact of these challenges are definitely going to decrease in comparison to the current market I hope Neetu has got the answer. So let's move ahead with the next question. So we have another query from Ashraf that how can smart technologies improve the overall efficiency and production of productivity of pharmaceutical manufacturing process? So as I said that Internet of Things and then artificial intelligence, robotic and automation are exhibit several advantages 
for the uh, key drug developers. So basically, these technologies enable continuous monitoring of manufacturing process, ensuring adherence to uh, quality standards and regulatory compliance. Then, real, then AI enable real-time data analysis, which helps in identifying deviations and initiating corrective actions promptly, resulting in improved product quality and compliance. Furthermore, smart technologies leverage data analytics and AI algorithms to identify the process bottlenecks and bottlenecks, optimize the overall uh, entire workflow, and then in streamline the entire operational you know, chain. This leads to uh, improved uh, throughput, reduced cycle times, as well as increased productivity. So that's how smart technologies help the drug developers to enhance their productivity as well as market share in the space. That's great. Thank you. Uh, let's move ahead uh, with the next question. And uh, that will be the last question for this webinar. Yeah, so what are the emerging trends in smart pharmaceutical factory technologies? Yeah, so what are the emerging trends? So basically, pharmaceutical companies are leveraging, uh, uh, in current market, they are leveraging big data and analytics, and as well as predictive modeling to extract insights from vast amounts of data generated in the manufacturing process. Then this enables proactive decision making, process optimization, and predictive maintenance. Furthermore, blockchain technology, as we all have, must have heard, that how blockchain technology is creating impact across the various industries. So this is also gaining traction in the pharmaceutical industries for ensuring the supply chain transparency, traceability, and authentications. It enhances security and enables efficient tracking of pharmaceutical products. So these are some of the emerging trends in the smart uh, pharmaceutical factory technologies. Thank you so much for that, Haritama. Uh, so participants, due to the time constraint, we had to pick uh, limited queries uh, for this webinar. But uh, in case your queries are not answered, we'll definitely contact you within the next day or two. Uh, you all can post your questions in the chat box and we'll definitely address them for sure. Now, as we all reach the final stage of our exhilarating webinar, we would like to take a moment to express our gratitude for your active participation and enthusiasm throughout this insightful event. We hope you have enjoyed the discussions and gained valuable knowledge on the role of smart pharmaceutical factory technologies market. But this doesn't end here. As I promised at the beginning, we have an exciting announcement to make. As a token of appreciation for our uh, dedication and engagement from your end, we are thrilled to offer 10 hours of complimentary analyst support to address your immediate research needs. This is absolutely free and you all can connect with us for any business queries uh, and we will be happy to offer assistance. Please feel free to drop us an email on sales at the rate globalmarketestimates.com with your immediate research requirements. Also as promised, we will be sharing the executive summary with you, which will help you to determine tomorrow's high growth markets today you can learn about the emerging niche markets within the smarter future for pharma that have significant growth potential. And by identifying these markets ahead of time, you can strategically position yourself to capitalize on future opportunities. And if you plan to purchase the whole report, which you must, since it will be highly valuable for your business, there will be a 10% flat discount if you do so before the end of the day today. In addition, you would also increase the 10 hours of analyst help to 100 hours, which would be absolutely complimentary. You can check for the report links in the chat box, or you can email us to sales at the rate globalmarketestimates.com and we will do the rest. Thank you so much once again for all your time and we look forward to your email. So stay connected. Thank you. <laughs>